all five Gorosei just revealed their demonic devil fruit powers, and they are all based on terrifying mythical creatures. After like 900 chapters of wondering what their powers are, we finally know the truth, and the truth is shocking, so let's break it down. First up, let's talk about Saint J. Garcia Saturn, because he is the first of the five elders to fully reveal his devil fruit powers in the story. Saturn's official title among the Five Elders is the Warrior God of Science and Defense, and he serves as the main antagonist of the Egghead arc, at least until he summons the other four Gorosei to Egghead, and then they join the battle. Along with his fellow Gorosei, Saturn is one of the five highest authorities within the world government, and the vast majority of the world believes that these five run the entire thing. However, the Gorosei are secretly controlled by the real ruler of the world, Imusama, but of course that is top secret information. In fact, the world government is willing to kill everyone in an entire kingdom just to keep the information hidden. Saturn is unique among the five elders in that he is also an accomplished scientist, and he is actually among the top scientists in the world. That said, he is not at the level of our boy Dr. Vegapunk, since we know that Vegapunk was able to trick him on several occasions, although Saturn's scientific prowess is still impressive. But despite being a scientist, Saturn is not the kind of person who is trying to use science to make the world a better place. Instead, he is an incredibly cruel man who supports enslaving people, he holds extremely discriminatory views against entire races of people like the Buccaneers, and he is even willing to conduct horrific human experiments on innocent civilians. For Saturn, everyone except the world nobles are mere insects whose feelings and opinions don't matter at all. As one of the leaders of the world government, Saturn possesses the authority to deploy entire marine fleets, launch weapons of mass destruction like the Buster Call and the Mother Flame, and command the Pacifistas and the Seraphim. But those are powers that come from his authority rather than from his own body. And if you've been a One Piece fan for some time, then I'm sure you remember for how long the One Piece fandom debated about whether the Gorosei were even fighters, or whether they were just like politicians. Well, the Egghead arc cleared that up for us very quick, as it revealed the full extent of the Gorosei's dark powers, including their demonic, awakened, mythical zone devil fruit. Saturn possesses a lot of rare and strange magical abilities, and as of the making of this video, we don't yet know which of his powers come from his devil fruit, and which of his powers have other, even darker origins. Some have even suggested that the Gorosei might not be devil fruit users at all, but actual devils. Devils that Imusama created in order to help him control the world for over 8 centuries. I saw this idea suggested by Artur from the Library of Ohara on Twitter, and something like that might explain why Saturn and the other Gorosei don't seem to actually age. Saturn looks the same now as he did 40 years ago, and it is quite possible that he has looked this way ever since the Void Century. But regardless of the exact nature of his power, Saturn's full power is truly menacing and impressive. He is so fearsome that marines who are ranked at or below the level of Commodore are not even allowed to look at him, and if they do dare to look upon him, their heads will literally explode. Now that is power. The true extent of Saturn's power is only revealed in chapter 1094, when he uses a magic circle in the shape of a pentagram to summon himself onto the surface of Egghead from a nearby world government vessel. When he emerges from the magic circle, Saturn has taken on a giant, inhuman form. He still has a human head, but he also has the horns of an ox, his legs and torso are like those of a spider, and he has the same swirly cloud around his head and shoulders that Luffy has in his Gear 5th form. Except Saturn's cloud isn't white like Luffy, but dark. The shape and appearance of the cloud, along with Saturn's animalistic characteristics, suggest that he has an awakened Zone Devil Fruit. And since we know that no real animal has ox horns and spider legs, we know that this must be a mythical zone. In fact, the creature that Saturn's devil fruit is based on is called Ushi Oni, sometimes referred to as Gyuki, and it is a yokai from Japanese mythology. So, if Saturn is really a man and not literally some kind of devil or yokai created by Imu, then it is safe to assume that he is a very rare and very powerful awakened mythical zone devil fruit. Saturn in his hybrid zone form has impressive durability and absolutely incredible healing and regeneration. When Bonnie pierces his body with a large sword, the wound heals itself immediately after the sword is taken out and Saturn doesn't even seem affected by it. He says that if he was even a little bit concerned about the sword, he would have just easily avoided it, but he didn't even bother because the attack simply wouldn't injure him. He was also able to easily regenerate a broken horn as well as a severed arm, and even a blow from Frankie's radical beam couldn't do any permanent damage to him. Saturn has unbelievably powerful hockey, and strong fighters can immediately sense his presence as soon as he appears. 
He is also able to project a terrifying aura that can straight up paralyze most people around him. As I said earlier, a mere look from Saturn can make the head of a lower ranked fighter explode. And this ability may also have a telepathic connection, because we know that Saturn is able to communicate telepathically with the other Gorosei, even if they're half a world away. As we saw in chapter 1110, Saturn also has the power to create four more magic circles and summon the other four Gorosei to Egghead from Marijua in a matter of seconds. This is straight up cross-global teleportation, and it is a power that is absolutely broken even when compared to some of the most OP powers and abilities that we have seen in One Piece so far. Like with most zone users, Saturn has three different forms, human, human-beast hybrid, and full-on beast mode. In both his hybrid and beast form, Saturn is absolutely gigantic, so much so that he makes even Kuma look small by comparison. When he is in his beast or Gyuki form, Saturn has large pointy spider legs that he uses to pierce his opponents. These legs are shockingly powerful, and they are even able to pierce Kuma's body, which is said to be stronger than steel. The spider legs are also able to release an incredibly toxic poison, which can of course be used to poison Saturn's enemies. On top of that, Saturn has the ability to launch a barrage of dark explosive balls at his opponents, which cause a massive amount of destruction if they land on their target. Luckily for Luffy, they can be deflected with a huge cartoonish baseball bat. Saturn's full beast form is absolutely gigantic. It still allows him to keep a human head, but his body becomes more like that of a spider and his eyes look bizarre and much less human, and his entire body seems to be coated with poison. Sanji points out that Saturn seems to be becoming less and less human by the minute, though to be fair, Luffy's eyes can get pretty freaking crazy when he's in Gear 5. This is especially the case when he's actually mad about something and you can tell there is anger in his eyes, but he still keeps that wide Nika grin on his face. Once Saturn goes into his full beast mode, Luffy quickly realizes that nothing he does even in his Gear 5th form seems to do any real damage to Saturn. His regenerative abilities are just that strong. It's interesting to know that the yokai that Saturn's mythical zone devil fruit seems to be based on has both a similar appearance and similar abilities to Saturn, including the production of poisons and causing incurable illnesses for those who cross its path. As we know, Saturn was the one who caused Ginny and Bonnie to contract an incurable illness due to his cruel experiment. The Ushioni or Gyoki Yokai also has an extremely cruel and brutal personality, just like Saturn, and it is said to appear near beaches. Since Saturn arrives to Egghead on a ship and then teleports onto the island, the beach and water connection also fits really well. Next, let's talk about Saint Marcus Mars and his devil fruit power, which is called Itsumade. Itsumade is a yokai that is described as a reptilian bird that cries the words Itsumade, Itsumade over and over again. In Japanese, the word Itsumade roughly translates to until when. And as I said, this is actually the sound that the creature is known to make. The mythological creature's real name is unknown. Mars' official title is the warrior god of environment. So I guess he is really passionate about climate change. I mean, just look at Lulucia, the entire kingdom got climate changed right to the bottom of the ocean. We don't know as much about Mars' personality or background as we do about Saturn's, but it's clear that all the Gorosei, including Mars, are very concerned with maintaining the balance of power in the world and with keeping the world government on top. They also see themselves as superior beings, and everyone else is seen as being below them. Mars does appear to be a bit more stoic and composed than the other Gorosei, because he never seems to lose his cool, even when he hears very disturbing and troubling news. That said, Mars is just as obedient to Emu as the other Gorosei are, and he is just as willing to commit horrible acts of mass murder in order to preserve the secrets of the Void Century. Just like Saturn and the other Gorosei, Mars possesses the highest authority in the world, aside from Emu, meaning that he ranks even higher than the regular Celestial Dragons and has all the weapons and institutions of the world government at his disposal. His Devil Fruit is also an awakened zone type, and it allows him to transform into a giant bird monster, as well as a human-bird hybrid. In his beast form, Mars also has the swirly dark cloud around his head and shoulders. One of the big advantages of Mars's full beast form is that like Kaido, he is able to fly and fly quickly. We are still learning the full extent of his Devil Fruit powers, but we can make some educated guesses based on the Yokai Itsumade, as this is clearly the creature that Mars's Devil Fruit powers are based on. The Itsumade Yokai is described as a particularly eerie reptilian bird with a human-like face and a snake-like body. As far back as the year 1334, there are records of a terrible illness affecting many people in Japan and causing many deaths. Each night, the people reported that an eerie supernatural bird would appear and cry, Itsumade, Itsumade, 
or until when? Until when? People were terrified of this creature, and so a master archer was commissioned to kill the bird. Other versions of the story state that this bird would appear near the bodies of those who died in a battle, or from starvation. It would then cry, Itsumade, Itsumade, essentially asking until when will the corpse be left here without being given a proper burial. In some versions, the Itsumade is actually a vengeful spirit of those who died in battle or from starvation. The spirits of these unfortunate people essentially came back to life in the form of an eerie bird yokai. Based on these descriptions, we know that the Itsumade in One Piece will have powers that are associated with birds and with snakes. The connection to death and illness may also suggest that like Saturn's Gyuki, the Itsumade will possess poisonous and toxic properties. And since some believe that the Itsumade is a vengeful spirit that came back from the dead, it is possible that this creature would have phoenix-like abilities to rise from the ashes or to use paranormal type abilities like Brook does. As one of the five elders, Mars is an extremely skilled hockey user, and when he is summoned to Egghead, his arrival is accompanied by a thunderous blast of hockey that looks like black lightning. When he sees Mars flying in his beast form, Jimbe remarks that this creature has preposterous hockey. Now let's talk about Saint Topman Warcury, the so-called warrior god of justice, who possesses a devil fruit based on a giant boar yokai called Hoki in Japanese mythology and Fengshi in Chinese mythology. Along with all the usual five elder powers that allow him to command the assets of the world government, Warkiri also has the standard five elder telepathic ability to communicate with the other Gorosei and the ability to teleport half a world away almost instantly after being summoned by a magic circle. On top of that, he has the power to regenerate from even the most severe injuries, at least when he is in his mythical zone beast form. Presumably, he also has the ability to either not age or drastically slow his aging, just like Saturn and the others. Now, we don't know too much about his personality, but as the warrior god of justice, we've seen a few small instances where he actually seemed to care about fairness. When Emu orders the destruction of Lulucia, he does mention that this is a highly populated kingdom. And he also seems to value good relations with the fishmen, and particularly with Jinbei back when he was a warlord. However, these are very minor instances of him seeming to care, and in general he is just as ruthless towards those who are not world nobles as the other Gorosei are. And of course, in the end he will follow Imu's orders no matter how brutal they might be. Like the others, Warcury appears to have an awakened mythical zone, which turns him into a giant boar with four massive tusks. These tusks can be transformed into giant powerful blades in battle, and these blades are so strong that they can be used to fight against multiple actual giants at the same time. Warcury's beast form also features that swirly black cloud around the shoulders, and despite being extremely large and girthy in his beast form, Warcury is still extremely fast, and he can even perform acrobatic feats like somersaults. Unsurprisingly, Warcury possesses insanely strong hockey, and he is confirmed to possess Conqueror's hockey as well. He can produce an animalistic scream that has been referred to as a Conqueror's hockey roar. And this roar has the ability to disorient and push back even the most powerful opponents, such as Gear 5 Luffy and the giants Dory and Brogy. In fact, the roar is so powerful that it can make an entire island pulsate, and it can knock out random people many kilometers away. The origins of Fengshi, the yokai that Warcury's devil fruit is based on, dates all the way back to the Western Han Dynasty of China from about 2,000 years ago. The Fengshi was described as one of the six monsters that had destroyed the countryside during the rule of Emperor Yao. The Fengshi has also been associated with a Chinese rain deity and with fertility. It is possible that Warcury will turn out to have some interesting water or liquid-based powers, and that would make sense because in Japanese, the planet Mercury is associated with water. Moving on to Saint Ethan Baron V. Nusjuro, the warrior god of finance, who is a very interesting member of the Gorosei because of his style of dress and use of a katana, which has led many to theorize that he may be secretly connected to Wano. The name Nusjuro clearly seems to have Japanese slash Wano origins, and some believe that the name Nusjuro was actually inspired by Nasuno Juro, a samurai skilled in archery who lived between the 12th and 13th centuries. That said, the name Ethan Baron certainly doesn't sound like it came from Japan or Wano, it's a name more suited for, say, a member of the English nobility. So Nusjuro might actually have mixed heritage. I'm very curious to find out who this guy really is, what his connection to Wano might be, and whether he is part of some important mixed heritage bloodline. On top of having all the usual powers and knowledge of the Gorosei, Nusjuro seems to be exceptionally well informed about Wano, Zunesha, and Zo, 
even more so than the rest of the five elders. This again hints at a Nusjuro and Wano connection. His devil fruit is the mythical zone type model Bakotsu. The Bakotsu is a yokai that appears as the skeleton of a horse. Apparently, this is the spirit of a horse that was burned to death and has now returned to the land of the living to seek his revenge. In his beast form, Nusjuro has the swirly black clouds that indicate a fully awakened mythical zone, and he has both a full beast mode and a hybrid centaur mode in which Nusjuro's human torso is combined with the lower half of a skeletal horse. In his beast and hybrid forms, Nusjuro is incredibly fast, and he is likely the fastest of the Gorosei. He is able to attack and neutralize multiple pacifistas in various locations throughout Egghead Island with such unbelievable speed that many people cannot even perceive Nusjuro's movements. As expected from one of the Gorosei, Nusjuro has overwhelmingly powerful Haki, and he is able to infuse his katana with armament Haki in order to make the weapon even stronger and more effective. On top of that, Nusjuro has the power to generate ice, and he can imbue his sword attacks with ice, allowing him to freeze and neutralize his opponents with ease. The power to freeze is interesting here, because the yokai that the Devil Fruit is based on is said to have burned to death. But instead of fire, Nusjuro is able to use ice. I wonder if this is an interesting play on the myth by Oda, or if Nusjuro will turn out to have the ability to use fire as well. As his choice of weapon indicates, Nusjuro is a master swordsman, and when combined with the speed that his Devil Fruit provides him, he may end up being one of the contenders for the title of the world's greatest swordsman, right up there with Mihawk and eventually Zoro. Nusjuro doesn't fight often, and definitely not in public, so he might actually be the world's greatest swordsman, but the world just doesn't know it yet. Finally, let's talk about Saint Shepherd Jupiter, aka Jupiter, who bears the title Warrior God of Agriculture. Now, he seemed particularly interested in the Nika Devil Fruit, and he outright asks why this Devil Fruit was given a different name. This clearly implies that Jupiter wasn't involved with the decision to rename the Nika Fruit, which could mean that as the youngest looking of the Gorosei, he might have joined their ranks later, after the decision about renaming Nika had already been made. Although he shares all the common powers of the Gorosei, Jupiter is unique in that his Mythical Zone Devil Fruit model doesn't appear to be based on any Japanese or Chinese mythology. The name of his Devil Fruit is the Mythical Zone type Sandworm, and it allows him to transform into a gigantic sandworm monster, as well as a sandworm human hybrid. This form has the same black swirling cloud again, and as a giant sandworm he is able to dig through the ground in order to sneak up on his opponents, then suddenly emerge from below and swallow them whole. This creature that he can transform into appears to be based on sandworms from the Dune series. Which is interesting since Oda doesn't usually base his characters on alien creatures from science fiction. He normally prefers to use history and mythology from our own world as the inspiration for his characters and their power. Now, I'm not an expert on Dune, but I know that the sandworms are incredibly powerful and fearsome creatures, and we can expect Jupiter's worm to be extremely strong, fast, and agile. A key strength that he has is the ability to burrow underground, essentially staying hidden, until he suddenly surprise attacks and swallows his opponents. It's likely that the sandworm will also possess additional powers, perhaps something related to causing its opponents to see illusions. I say this because the sandworms in Dune produce a psychedelic drug known as the Spice, which is extremely important to the story of that series. It's entirely possible that Oda will incorporate this into Jupiter's powers in some way. And personally, I can't wait to find out the full extent of all of the Gorosei's powers and abilities. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to get updates on the Gorosei's powers as we get more information in the future. And after watching a video on the Gorosei, why not check out this video about their master, Imusama? What are Imu's true powers and secret devil fruit abilities? Link on screen and in the description.